Congressman, many times on a show like this when we cut away for the commercial breaks, a lot of things you said that I like to hear repeated. I'd like to, you to repeat what you said about the congresswoman from Texas. Well, I, I want to say this to Mohammed before, and we got a little side argument going. One of the brightest minds in the United States Congress today is a freshman congresswoman from Texas, a black woman by the name of Barbara Jordan. I think she can get... I think she can get to the heart of the problem about as quick as anybody. We had a meeting just a few days ago with a group of British parliamentarians to talk about common problems, and I took her there. I asked her as a special favor to go to this meeting. Yeah, but he's saying and that's so many black uh, 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 people that have a lot to say. Well, that's true, but uh, there's a lot of white people that have a lot to right. say in Congress, but it and only can be that. 435 congressmen at any given it time. For 400 years. Well, uh, the blacks uh, now are getting elected, and uh, let me say this: Barbara Jordan was elected from a constituency that doesn't have a majority of blacks. Yeah, but what he's saying is that he doesn't care about being elected. Well, I, he you know, that's, uh, that's up to him to go to decide that. That's not for me to say. But, but I am saying that some black be. people are making a contribution in that field. But isn't it time that we all live together? Well, I don't think we can live. It's time for living. Time for you. I don't think we can live segregated. I don't think you can segregate the Jews into one compartment, the blacks into another, the white Anglo-Saxon Protestants into another, the Catholics into another. I think we're all here in this country, and we're going to have to live together and get along together. And uh, uh, your, your entertainment wouldn't go if nobody but blacks went to it or paid or, or got admissions, and your fights, I'll stop right there. Your fights I, wouldn't I gross what thing. they do if the whites say, didn't I want to say one thing. If there's no white man come to hear him, if we got 40 million black people that love his music, he don't need no white artists. I just well, want to say... there's no 40 yeah, million no, white people in this country. There's I'm just saying, million. I can't let you stay on the TV you, and say that he wouldn't make it if it wasn't for the white people. Well, I'm not saying he wouldn't make it, but I'm he, saying he wouldn't make it as big as he does. You're right, if we have white people promoted. No, no. I don't know if they say to you. Okay, now what, is, black people, what he's saying is that it, it does not make you big uh, because white Congress people come. Congressman yeah, didn't say that. He said that you're, you're, I, I you know, wouldn't go as I'm big. He what he said. said. No, with your fights and is what he said. Your country wouldn't be here for one for us. Well, they don't need that. America wouldn't be nothing if it wasn't for my people slaving and working for a whole hundred years. And you white people fighting in all of your wars. Yeah. Then you talk about if That's I right. didn't white people come to my fights, wouldn't have no money. We built a country. That's right. We fought in all the wars. We were lynched. We were captured. We, we were murdered. And some of us, all were, some of us were, were in on that. We want to give you a little bit. We want to give you some credit, Mohammed. But after all, you're 11 million out of 210 million, so you didn't do everything. The whites well, did something too, you know. You did do Everybody something. made a contribution. You did do something. You killed off all the Indians, then you brought us over and robbed us. Of yeah, them. but what Mike's trying to say is that did all there's that. a way to say all of this without having any animosity. Exactly. That's right. Exactly. I buy that. Yeah, well, so you ain't no animosity. Ain't nobody hit nobody. Yeah, but it should not sound like it. <laughs> Words are more powerful than fists. That's why, no, that's why animosity. That's I think why, it's a uh, fairly uh, simple, uh, sim well, Simple. simplistic argument that we're having here on yeah. the one hand saying no. why can't we all live together now we know that it's tough to live together and we know that there are animosities and we know that there's back dues and back pay and back uh, things that are owed to people and not just to blacks yeah, to but Indians as well and to women as well and to other minorities it is as well. not simplistic well there's nothing simplistic it the man simple. and his wife don't live together in perfect harmony all the time I'll tell you one you thing know, you they, take sometimes a house, they have you take problems a, you take a house you take a country you kill off all the Indian you kill off the blacks and you get everything is yours now you say let's live together without giving up nothing or repaying <laughs> now you want peace you got everything now you done conquered the world now you want to be peaceful well they ain't, people ain't resting they don't want no peace yeah but if somebody said i only care for whites we would label him uh, by very ugly epithets. And if I said I only care for Jews and nothing else, I would be labeled as an exclusionary elitist. I only care for the freedom and the unity of my people. Everybody else has got it. Right. Not really. No, 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 not true. Not everybody not true. else. I don't buy that. Well, I, I tell you what, I bet you the Viet Cong, who we black people, not me, I wasn't fool enough to go, who those who helped fight, I bet you the Viet Cong is more citizens and can come here and put on a little suit 
and get more freedom and move in neighborhoods and put up business where Negroes came. I believe that. Oh, no, that's not no, right. I believe that. I believe that. They're under a no. dictatorship the just like the can, Russians. Can, the no, Japanese can, the yeah. Germans can. Everybody that's not American can go and do what Negroes can do. So quit being hypocrites that's on this right. TV. The whole world, no Negroes, the lowest, Black the people. most down, the most disrespected, and the less protected than anybody. Well, where can't you go, Mohammed? Oh, okay, I'm one big nigga. I'm a nigga, got $10 million, I'm a great fighter, so I can go. Well, I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about the brother watching this show, Everyone can't pay his rent. Yeah. He ain't got nothing. Well, what Don't about the no white home. man who can't pay his rent? Well, it's There's his a lot fault. Of them. It's his damn country. Huh? He should get out there you and know. That's his fault. Yeah. It's his damn country. Not all the poor are black and not I all know, the poor I know, you got some poor white. Well, then I'm working for my black brothers. You look out for your white brothers. That's, that, that's what I was saying earlier. I ain't say hate uh, nobody. What, I don't want hate nobody. Congressman, what, what Just is... help each other. Help yourself first. What is... What is the answer? <laughs> well, I think the answer... <laughs> <laughs> if there people, is an answer. People want the truth. All this laughing and giggling. Now you're talking about... Well, you laughing and giggling, Use this TV dude. time to tell us what you <laughs> laughing and giggling like everybody yeah, else. But you see, the laughing and giggling that is me. not phony. The laughing is and giggling. I have a function here. My function is to entertain yeah, and I'm make as many no, people no. out there happy as I possibly can. And man, I do it every day. That's your job. That's right. It's your job. I don't say it's phony because it's not phony. It's I don't have a phony bone in this on, body. Well, man. you want to know why I'm not coming on giggling my teeth? I didn't why say that. I said you look troubled. No. I didn't say, I'm, why aren't I'm you giggling troubled. and laughing? I'm always troubled. Well, no, not, not always. Because I, 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 you're in a world full of hypocrites. If I wasn't who I was, I'd be somewhere in the restaurant. So I ain't got no time to be looking like I'm so happy. Yeah, but he said... My saying, brothers are catching hell and catching hell and catching hell. Dead yeah, it. yeah, yeah, that's right. And all you all hypocrites saying, oh, you a hypocrite yourself. Well, well uh, what's the answer, Congressman? The answer is that, you know, it's easy to sit back and call everybody else in the world a hypocrite. And I'm not going to call anybody call a hypocrite. Anybody I, hypocrite. I think, uh, I think everybody white has person, right to own opinion. Any white person, any artist, they say, ah, oh, when I tell the truth, my people ain't nothing but a hypocrite. I don't, I don't hate black people. I'm going to say hate. And, and I don't see, well, I don't, I don't dislike them. And I, I you, you know, and I don't see why you should dislike whites. Well, then you whites. get with the government and tell them to get together and unite and do something. But, Mohammed, <laughs> you tell them to get together, you take your face and your complexion to the White House and repay the black people for all the work they done done, all the slaving and... Get down, brother! Get some land and <laughs> some land. Okay. The last the reason... Nobody that didn't do something to repay. Well, we let's, uh, maybe we ought to start back in Africa with the tribal chiefs who sold the slaves they didn't slavery say you in the first place. That don't mean you, you know, you slavery. can't go back that and rectify 500 years of history. They didn't say you just lynchers. can't do it. <laughs> They didn't sell you the lynchers. Let's be happy. They, Let's they be didn't happy. sell us to you the burners. Congress.